Hello everyone, I am Aditya Aware and today we are here to conduct our third activity which, has, which is View Talks. So in this activity, we, everyone will be shown an uh, image and he has to speak about that image for two minutes. And uh, so uh, without any delay, we will directly uh, start with our activity. Uh, I will share the screen first and Avishkar Ghadge will uh, tell, uh, in, in, uh, tell about the image. Uh, Avishkar, your image is this one. Okay. Okay. So this image looks, uh, this image shows me few buildings to start off with. In the, uh, between the few buildings, I see a, a moving life but these buildings go on and on representing how overcrowded our cities are. But at the same time, these advertisement also tell us uh, how the stark difference is there, there is between the difference in the life of villages and cities and how many opportunities are there which because of which people flock to these cities. But the, the huge building structure uh, where show, uh, ask me, begs me a question is, how sustainable is this and till how long can we manage this? There doesn't seem to be any playground. There doesn't seem to be any other places than, than these the intuitions where people work. So is life sustainable? Because of this concrete jungle, we can see that uh, there is no wildlife and we are uh, moving toward and there is no farmland. So even if people work, where would we get our food from and other resources and how long can we go? Uh, this the image also begs me to ask the question is that uh, what more is how more are we going to expand further and when will we stop and uh, what will be the cost of stopping um, other than that these this shows uh, us how we are moving as we are developing as people and the ill effects of urbanization I, that's all from my side. That was a great way of describing this image. Next would be Sarvesh, who would be describing the ETH image. Go ahead, Sarvesh. Oh, wait a for some one, one minute. Okay, am I visible? Yeah, you are visible. And audible Sarvesh. both. Yep. Uh, so this uh, am I in frame? Uh, so this yeah, image yeah. is uh, my name is Sarvesh Anjay Kulkarni. I'm from Information Technology Department. Uh, this image is all about corporate drudgery in corporates. Uh, the image shows us that a man is uh, sitting on a chair with a, with his laptop uh, with his computer playing, uh, doing some uh, repetitive work over and over and over again. So, uh, due to industrialization, the the world has uh, got uh, the people in the world are uh, getting jobs that are not so innovative and also their minds are minds are uh, too, uh, minds are uh, remain so uh, so uh, in the level of low innovation as well as uh, if, if you see the uh, charlie chaplin's fa factory scene in the scene the charlie chaplin is uh, doing the same same machine work on the same machine part over and over and over again that uh, makes his life very uh, that makes his life is very uh, that makes the person's life very cold as well as uh, there is no scope of innovation in, in his life uh, especially in indian it companies there is uh, very less innovation and also uh, they don't even have the time to uh, uh, they have time to they don't have even time to uh, enough time to recruit people as well as to uh, give opportunity opportunity to them uh, to showcase their ideas uh, also uh, uh, this also uh, limits the opportunity of a person to recreate himself uh, also uh, due to more hard uh, more work of work hours in the office uh, personal development is uh, shrinked in offices uh, the person cannot go to uh, exercise or uh, to listen to music. Uh, people uh, overwork uh, day and night and their life becomes, becomes miserable. Uh, so, 
and uh, survey shows that people who enjoy their work are most productive and people who don't do not enjoy their work becomes uh, more com- uh, becomes more uh, sorrowful in their life uh, so uh, that is it that was it for today uh, today on this topic uh, thank you thank you sarvesh great way of describing how corporate desert works and how it is in the real world next will be gayatri who will speaking who will be speaking on the jeet image gayatri you can go ahead okay so uh, as i can see in this image uh, a group of people a mob of people are uh, hanging a bull okay so uh, thomas edison he was a scientist who invented bull so i i think that when he invented when he started inventing a bulb people uh, won't accept uh, accept his uh, inv- uh, invention right so uh, uh, in this image a group of people they are uh, depicted as candles and they are about to hang the invention of thomas edison so uh, to the best of my information uh, thomas edison made thousand unsuccessful attempts to finally uh, make a bulb okay so he also said that uh, i didn't fail for thousand times i just uh, i just found out thousand different ways to fail thousand different ways that won't work right then the second uh, thing comes to my mind is uh, aman gupta he is the as i as i'm uh, as i've started watching shark tank it's a tv show okay where people come and show their inventions and the sharks approve and uh, sometimes they show interest and uh, give money to them in order to do their business so aman gupta he is the ceo and co-founder is the md sorry md and co-founder of boat uh, they, uh, it's a company that produces uh, manufactures audio and wearable uh, devices right so he confessed on the show itself that people called his product a cult of failure and uh, i like to speak this in hindi he said that uh, ki log bol rahe the uh, that log to aajkal uh, black earphones kharidte hai black earphones kharidte hai to tere jo colorful earphones hai kon kharidega okay but uh, people actually showed interest in the colorful wearable audio earphones and uh, our youth showed interest in it and then it became what to say about this image thank you thank you gayatri great way of describing how what the image is next uh, will be rupali who will be describing the ajit image rupali you can go ahead Rupali you are on mute so Hello everyone I am Rupali uh, the picture should be take care of our parents when they are old and because uh, when we are old when we are kids that time also our parents uh, take care of us and uh, and this is our responsibility to take care of our parents this is shows that and uh, when uh, when we are kids that time uh, our to take lot of effort for us so that is this is also duty to take care of our parents again um, uh, they they are doing uh, anything for us when we are that no time this, uh, this time is that to uh, we will do something for them thank you thank you rupali next will be gunjan who will be describing the eye image okay so uh, in this picture i can see that there is a human being and uh, who is laid on the phone with captured by some social media apps 
so we can uh, say that that a uh, human being is become is becoming controlled by phones or social media like applications and uh, it is affecting our life like it is making us uh, less free uh, less happy less free less connected despite being the uh, benefits of the uh, these uh, social media apps uh, excessive smartphone use may cause addiction among the individuals which might uh, which might negatively impact the human well being furthermore uh, smartphone addiction can lead to depression stress anxiety and lack of social interaction in different people besides extreme use of smartphone can also waste our time uh, cell phone uh, using cell phone uh, may also ruin uh, ruin relationship because their uses might might connect us to the virtual world and people far away but can distract us from the ones ne- uh, ones near us and uh, deprive us of the important thing this can make also uh, this can also make us unlikable in your circle due to our non verbal behavior uh there are different people like celebrities artists experts uh, and aspiring influencers they use the social media for uh, as a earning uh, as a earning resource so so it has some uh, benefits for some people but the people for the people who are just using it for unnecessary things they are becoming just controlled by this app and they are wasting their time their uh, valuable time so uh so basically we are getting engaged into phones too much so that we have become slaves of social media thank you thank you gunjan that was a great way of describing how social no social media is affecting our life nowadays okay uh, so aman this is your image you can go ahead okay thank you ajay uh, so as if you start from uh, if you start from the big uh, at the top of your image you can just see, you can clearly see that uh, one one person is shouting at the, another person and uh, it goes on and on uh, so if if i used to a generic term here the most obvious term i would like to call is chain of screaming and chain of screaming is so real that you can you will be able to see hundreds of sitcoms source the same topic that one person is shouting at another and the same person is shouting at another person so it's uh, chain goes on on and on but uh, what's the main cause of a chain the the start person might be uh, might be it has some uh, serious mental issues or it it can be that he just want he just wants other person to feel down so anyway it is the it is an uh, it's in co- corporate of- offense and should not be uh, should not be entertained in a workplace and another way another way to put it it's uh, if if one person is shouting at another person the obvious result is that another person is going to get get some anxiety or related issues and uh, he would have no other way to express it other than uh, to his juniors or to his less Lesser, right? So, what what that person would do is uh, do the same thing, screaming. So the ch- uh, chain of screaming will go on and on. So the best way to stop is you can use some legal method that we have that we have available in on the in in workplace. So so one person cannot go ahead and use some word that that are not allowed in a workplace. And if you see the result, then the victims are also. from going from anxiety they always go from being a bully right so once a being person who bullying by is person who eventually bullies other persons so so that's what i would like to say uh, that the, this image is an exact representation of chain of bullying and if you have to stop it what we should do is we we should tell we should tell our superiors that uh, what what we need to be said thank you thank you aman that was a great way of describing how corporate system and like real life works uh, this marks the end of this activity thank you everyone for joining in and thank you